RadioStPete.com presents Job Talk with Dean Logan. Job Talk with Dean Logan is presented in part by Eagle Data Logistics. Eagle Data Logistics is one of the premier Oracle Gold partners on the East Coast. Eagle Data Logistics providing hardware and software sales, data recovery, DBA services, and recruiting. With more than 10 years in business in downtown St. Petersburg, it's Eagle Data Logistics. Now, let's go live to our studio on the 10th floor of the Plaza Tower in downtown St. Petersburg, the offices of Eagle Data Logistics. Now, with Job Talk, here's Dean Logan. Thank you, Joe Bordeaux, and welcome to Job Talk. I'm your host, Dean Logan, and I'm very proud to say this is the only radio program in Tampa Bay dedicated to talking about jobs. For those of you new to the program, my goal is to talk with every employer I can, big and small, and in all industries, so that anyone who is considering moving their business or a change in their employment will know what it's like to live, work, and play in Tampa Bay. All of my guests are making a positive difference in the community, and this is a way to get to know them a little better. In business and in life, you want to always keep learning. My guest today, Barb Kais, helps executives and business owners learn to achieve their goals and become more profitable in the process. Barb, along with her husband Ford and daughter Juliet, work together in their business, Action Coach Tampa Bay. Welcome, Barb. Thanks, Dean. I'm I'm thrilled to be here. So this is the first time I think you've been up here? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, So what do you think of the view? I'm jealous. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. I think it allows anyone that's been here to see what really, uh, how easy it is to fall in love with St. Pete once they see the view, definitely. Absolutely. So let's start by telling the audience a little bit about yourself up until the time you opened uh, Action Coach Tampa Bay. Well, I I kind of started my career a long time ago as a nurse and caring for others and really being concerned about the welfare of people. And when my husband and I, Ford, had an opportunity to open this business, uh, we had been in the nonprofit area, and I was doing a lot of fundraising in the community. And I found that there was a need for business owners to really learn more about their financials and how they could put a plan in place. So when he uh, was done with his position at a local community-based hospital, we looked at different uh, resources to stay in the community and found this particular franchise. So it's an actual franchise? Yes, absolutely. It's an international franchise. We're in 55 countries. The most recent one is Vietnam. And it's been around over 25 years, uh, helping thousands and thousands of business owners on a daily basis. That's great. So did you, um, so your husband and daughter work with you, and, and together you have over 55 years of combined experience. Is that what I read on your website there? Absolutely, and it's all true. Uh, <laughs> so tell us, um, tell us a little bit about Ford and Juliet's background, if you Absolutely. Like. Ford has a master's in public management and has uh, come up through the ranks after being a nurse into leadership and uh, executive team uh, involvement and Juliet is quite an interesting person too because uh, not only is she my daughter but she has grown through the contact with our business owners and learning from what we're doing. Her background is uh, she has a um, business degree and a minor in marketing so she is really my secret sauce in the company and has just totally grown up and just a great business coach. We had sent her back about three and a half years ago to be certified as a coach. So she is the one that really can get businesses excited and get into a plan just like the rest of us. That's the part we love the most. Mm -hmm. So for those listening who don't know much about coaching, what does a business coach do? Well, it's really simple when you think about it. It's, It's a process of getting people to do things they normally wouldn't do. And our biggest challenge around that is most business owners believe that they know pretty much everything, but that's not often the case. So once we get in there and help them identify things that they can't see, those blind spot spots, if you will, we can help them really deal with them and fill those gaps. And oftentimes it's around the whole job thing where they don't have the right people in the right place. And that's something we can also help with. So when you were looking to become a business coach, um, why did you choose Action Coach? Well, one of the main things, uh, we really fell in love with the concept because of the abundance of the leadership and the whole franchise. We literally can contact over a 1,000 coaches around the world at any time and ask them for help. And you don't see that in a lot of organizations. They will give their time and their resource and their intellectual knowledge to us at any given time. 
And it's like having a family, if you will. We really have been connected over the years with a lot of people from different parts of the world and have visited them. That's all over the world, really? More than just Tampa Bay? Absolutely. Hmm. In fact, we have a conference coming up in Bali, which is kind of interesting. And I'm always curious, how did you become a business coach, though? What brought you into it? Uh, We wanted to find a way to stay in this community because we absolutely love St. Pete. And that was, at the time, we had a uh, situation where we could no longer do what we were doing in this area, so we had to really come up with another solution. So we we looked at different business opportunities, and like I said, multiple franchises, and this was the one. So um, the franchise actually does the education and certification of the the business coaches, and you go through a 10- or 11-day, it's really a grueling training. Uh, We were there 10 hours a day every day for 11 days straight and really came out with all the tools we needed to get going. Are those Is that training locally or is that other part of the country? It's in Las Vegas. That's mm. where our main office is now. It used to be in Australia. It's an wow. Australian-based company. That's where it started. Wonderful. And so, you know, what is the, uh, what type of industries basically have you worked with? It's probably easier to answer that uh, in terms of which ones haven't we worked with? Uh, we personally have worked with over 70 different types of businesses in this Tampa Bay region. And uh, anything from CPAs to painters to construction people to also executives on teams, uh, doing management training with the, the management level of companies. It's all over the map. Uh, real estate companies that have multiple verticals. Uh, large CPA firms, uh, ship repair business. I mean, I could go on and on. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, very fascinating because the thing that's so consistent with businesses is they're pretty much the same. The only thing is the wild card, the owner. Mm -hmm. And so where would you say the top three areas in which business owners are weak? Um, From my experience, I would say it's financials. And also there's an opportunity for HR growth and then also uh, marketing most business owners have a passion that gets them into the business, but they don't have those other component parts. So typically, if I had a, if my business had some weakness in those areas, how would you come in and actually help? Well, first of all, it's like this, Dean, just like us. Where we start with a conversation, and then we ask really good questions to get to the root, and then f- help them figure out solutions that will work for them. Mm-hmm. And um, where do business owners basically spend most of their time in focus, do you find? Uh, From our experience, it's around um, managing their people, the HR concerns. It's also um, recruiting and hiring and firing and and also dealing with customer concerns. And how long has uh, the Action Coach Tampa Bay been coaching business owners and companies with over 50 employees? Uh, Since the beginning. And um, we do, uh, we have multiple programs and I can go into that another time. Um, But we've been in business now. It'll be eight years this coming July. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, tell me a little bit more about those programs. They're very interesting, I think. Okay. So uh, oftentimes people think that you only need a business coach when you're failing. But really, we work with businesses that have high growth uh, futures and also have an ability to have people to do help them with doing the work. Mm-hmm. So our, our initial program starts as low as $250 a month and goes up anywhere to, you know, thousands of dollars, mm-hmm. you know, five, ten thousand, 10000 depending on their needs and how many people are served within the com- company. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'd love to sit down with anybody who wants to learn more about that, the details of that. So in those programs, there's a lot of value added into it. And what we do is we encourage all of our clients to come to a quarterly planning session with all the clients and also we have a monthly education training program as well as doing you know ad reviews all kinds of things and you also uh there's i think there's a you do a lot of networking in your business i mean that's where i met you and uh at a function is that an important part of uh of what you uh, teach people as well absolutely dean uh the one thing that you have to really realize about tampa bay is that it is truly a networking community no matter where you go, you will um, meet more people by being out there. It's really a face-to-face community. So one of the places I would recommend, and it's part of the St. Pete Chamber uh, networking group, and it's called Third Tuesdays. It's held at the hangar. And um, come out and see us. You can meet a lot of different people there. It's never the same people. People come from Tampa. They come from Sarasota. They come from all over the place. 
and it's a nice venue as well. Absolutely. The hangar, you get to watch the planes land, and it's a, you can grab some to eat there as well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, All right, so let's get back to, to the kind of um, uh, work that you're actually doing and some questions about uh, specific uh, uh, ones that business owners would, uh, would enjoy. So what questions, uh, for example, what five things if business owners would do on a regular basis would make them more profitable? Well, some of the things would be if they'd even measure their marketing strategies because we believe that marketing is an investment, not an expense. Uh, some people, when they look at financials, they figure that marketing really is just cost, and you really should get a return on that. One of the other things would be to make sure they understand their margins. That's one of the most upsetting things we find is how little people understand about that, and they may be promoting a product or service that is running them out of business rapidly. Mm-hmm. The other one would be uh, planning their day. Uh, We teach our clients to not only plan annually, but also 90 days, weekly, daily, and then have uh, huddles and things like that to keep their team in place. The other one would be uh, time management or self-management. If you, as the leader of a company, and I'm the leader of my company, if I wasn't organized and planned my day and my time and my future, I wouldn't be able to lead my team and do coaching and also run the financials and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's really key. And then I would say the other part is uh, you need to make sure you have time for yourself and get re-energized because as the leader, it it can be very draining if you don't have anything like that. And also with that, seek accountability because as humans, we don't like to really do stuff Mm -hmm. it's important that you have somebody that's going to be that unreasonable friend and hold you accountable right okay and so if i was looking for a business coach what criteria would i use in um, selecting the right one for me i like to think about that in terms of you know why do people buy and i think the first thing is like you have to really like the person you're going to spend a lot of time with and then make sure that they have knowledge and understanding of your of your concerns. Sometimes we we get into this conversation all the time with, well, I want somebody in my industry. And that's great. I think that's, uh, I think that everybody who wants to go into coaching should, should do that. But the benefit we can give you is we're, if we're not in your industry, we understand business and what needs to be done. We can go into the five things later. Uh, But the the point is that we can see things from the outside you can't see because it's up to you it's your responsibility to help educate us about your industry. We, we can help you from the outside much faster and more effectively because we're not in your box. Mm-hmm. And what questions would, would they ask uh, the coach before signing up with them? Well, they need to make sure they understand the agreement, what that's all about, and how, how long they expect to be in it and things like that and how much the investment is and, what, and agree on what the outcome is. Is there a typical time frame? Uh, we like to ask our clients to at least uh, – six months to a year it takes at least six months to even get organized so uh, we do honor that if they feel like they want to you know not continue but a year really is the best way to go and we also believe continual coaching we've we've had coaches over the years continuously and um, it's very important to make sure that you continue because the the longer you're in coaching the more results you get and that's financially time and uh, leisure Mm-hmm. So you mentioned about um, bus- this can work for all types of businesses. Do you also help uh, businesses uh, prepare to sell their business? Yes, absolutely. Part of what we do is we help the, uh, our six-step model. It will help explain all the different areas that every business goes through. So we take people back to the mastery level, which, which has uh, self or uh, time management. You can't really manage time, so you have to learn how to manage yourself, as I mentioned before. The other one is financial mastery and destination. You have to know where you are to know where you're going to go. So if you're going to sell your business, you have to understand that and realize how long it's going to take for you to, to build in the other pieces. And the last one is delivery. If you are delivering a product or service, and you don't have the structure in place to do that, you can ruin, ruin your reputation faster than anything. And there's you know, five other areas of that. One is the USP and guarantee, and then team and systems, and then leverage, and then that's when you get your results, which you sell. So in general, it takes maybe three years or so to get that in place because everybody always thinks they have every possible system in place because, you know, after all, we have all this technology now. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. And you know, I've I met some of your uh, your clients, and they all seem to be very uh, 
very happy about what they're what they're doing and excited about their process. Can you tell me a little bit about maybe a success story or two? Well, I, my favorite one right now, I have a couple, but my favorite one is uh, Symphony. They are an online marketing company, um, media company. And right now, well, last month, they're growing 125% month over month, but it's much more than that. They've hit one of their indicators that we, you know, last quarter we never thought we were going to be there, but they're just amazing. It's a young company. Uh, they've been in business about four years, but they have a lot of young employees, and they're just doing a knock-out-of-the-park job. And how long have you been with them? We've been with them about a little bit over a year. And in fact, they've done our website. So if you want to go check it out, it's right. actioncoachtampabay.com. <laughs> uh, had a lot of, uh, one of the things that's unique about them is they do original photography. So it was a lot of fun doing a four and a half hour photo shoot mm -hmm. and having those uh, photos ready for the website when we developed it. So in that success story, is there a typical problem that you overcame that you could, uh, that other listeners might uh, might find in their own business? Sure. Uh, again, it's around the technology issue because when people believe they're ready to scale up, you still have to have systems. List, lists in general, and I'm not specifically talking about Symphony, uh, but when you have lists, it's, they're lists. So you have to really have clear systems around you know the six steps I mentioned. So having a marketing system, a sales system, a way to pay your financial system, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And we have those tools. They're already built into our franchise. They were built early on, and, and we literally have 344 strategies to help you do that. That's interesting. So you also, um, I mean, you're, you're so involved in a lot of different things. There was, a, um, uh, you, there was an event just recently that you were a mentor. Um, I think you were, this past Monday, you were at the Biz Women Mentoring Monday event held in conjunction with the Tampa Bay Business Journal. Tell me about that. Oh, that was really exciting. I mean, you have to realize that I coach every day, but volunteering to be a mentor of not only business women, but also the residents of Metropolitan Ministries was really rewarding. The questions they ask you are just so amazing, and just being able to make that impact difference. So what this event was about is, and I really give um, Bridget Mills um, Bellow a lot of respect around this, uh, the business journals are across the country, and it, this event is held in 43 markets on a given Monday annually. This was the second year of the event. Mm -hmm. So in that process, we've probably reached over 20,000 women to be mentored on those two days over the last two years. And it's, it's something that you just really can't put a price on that, how you can impact those lives. And it'll be again next year, the same time. So I'm hoping they ask me back to do that. And how did you get involved with that? Uh, I've been a uh, I've been a long-time uh, supporter of the Tampa Bay Business Journal. They've helped us with a lot of events when we brought big-name speakers in and stuff. So I, ha I do have a relationship with them, but they reached out and asked me to participate knowing what I do, that I could be you know, a great mentor and provide some uh, value. How many mentors were there? There were 40, oh. and I believe the attendance was somewhere around 200. And how can others be mentors or attend future events there? You could go probably to their website. And actually, there's a whole link around Biz Woman. It's a magazine that the journals have done across the country mm -hmm. that is specifically uh, focused on women in business. Also, um, with you know, a lot of what you do is certainly you're helping people uh, with their business, and that's a, a has to do with uh, employing people as well and jobs. And so if somebody, this comes to my interview tip of the week, and if somebody was coming to your business and interested in being an employee of your company or even one of your other com companies that, uh, that you, that you uh, uh, coach, um, you know, what one piece of advice would you give them? Well, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the obvious one would be that you need to do your research. Make sure you're checking out the companies that you're going to apply for. But I think the most important thing is you need to make sure it's a good match for you. Because you have to do it every day, and you have to be engaged with the people in the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Barb, um, just uh, just a couple more questions. But you have a, I think you have a new book coming out soon too. Absolutely, we're very excited. Uh, it's a collaboration between the three of us, and the question we get around that is, well, did you all take chapters? And no, we're not taking chapters. We're doing this as a total collaboration. Uh, my book publisher, Tara Richter from Richter Publishing, who's also another amazing woman who was a mentor last Monday, too, um, 
her process is amazing. She started uh, developing and publishing books. She did it herself and started and then went into this business. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's the, do you have a title? And tell me more a little bit more what it's about as well. Sure. We have a title, but, Dean, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> um, we're gonna, we will have a book launch June 5th, and uh, we'd love to have anybody who's interested in learning more about that contact me. The book is about it's a, a planning guide around how to do how to uh, sell your sell your business because it puts in all the concepts we've learned not only from Action Coach but also what we've learned along the way and what has worked the best for our clients and there'll be some client stories in there that'll help people understand how how to get to those points and the strategies that are used behind them. Wonderful. Well, listen, I. That's really about it. That's all the questions I really have today. But do you have anything that you'd like to just uh, finally say finally? I just, uh, very, I'm very excited. We have just moved our office uh, back to St. Pete. We were much f- farther north. Um, we did that because our home is in, in Palm Harbor. Mm-hmm. But we came to uh, St. Pete again. Uh, actually, on Valentine's Day, that was my gift, I guess, from my husband. But we're here. We're back engaged, That's and we're just gift. having a great time. Thank you. It's a beautiful gift, too. I mean, because St. Pete is also, also just awesome. Um, and uh, uh, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, uh, what is your website? It's actioncoachtampabay.com. Wonderful, Barb. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I hope you'll come back in time. And also send me some updates as you uh, for our, our alumni update uh, se- uh, segment of the show as well. I'd love that, Dean. And please let me know how I can help you. I appreciate it, and uh, that's great. So that was my uh, my guest today is Barb Kies of Action Coach Tampa Bay. And if you have a chance to take a look at her website, I think you'll be surprised at uh, what you see there, and uh, you'll be very interested. Uh, a lot of people I've met uh, certainly say a lot of great things about your work. So thanks again for being here. And now it's time for the Job Talk Alumni Update, where I get to tell you about any updates and events with those who've been guests on Job Talk. Uh, The Deuces Live wants to remind everyone about the Sunday Market on the Deuces, located at 22nd Street South and 9th Avenue South. It's always an event to attend from 1 to 6 every Sunday. And from the St. Petersburg Area Chamber of Commerce, they want to remind all of you about the Tampa Bay Rowdy Season Kickoff Party and Jersey Unveiling tonight, April 1st, at the Mahaffey Theater. Doors open at 6 for season ticket holders and 6.30 for the general public. The program will begin at 7.10 p.m., and the admission is free. Attendees will have the opportunity to not only be the first to see the, the team's uh, jerseys, uh, but they'll be able to get the, to meet the, uh, the, the people there as well, the, the players. So it's an exciting night. Make sure you uh, check that out. I think you'll like it. And um, let's see, uh, the shout-outs today uh, to my neighbor, Harry, who went to Duke. And to my friend Mike in Indiana, who went to Michigan State, congratulations on your teams making the Final Four in college basketball. Good luck this Saturday as your teams will play each other with the winner reaching the finals. Another congratulations to Tiffany in California, who officially became a nurse last week. I'm very proud of you and all the hard work you put in to make that happen. Maybe someday we'll get you and Natalie out here. Check out the wonderful opportunities in Tampa Bay for nurses. And I want to give a special shout-out to a former Job Talk guest, Chris Radish, who was a little bit under the weather this week. We all hope you get better very soon. And next week, my guest will be Fran Snyder, an exceptional artist and music entrepreneur who is driving the, the driving force behind the Listening Room Festival office and house concerts. Fran will also play a song on the show. It will be the first live musical performance on the program, so be sure to tune in. And um, I want to take this time to thank all of you who have been very kind with introductions and suggestions for future guests on Job Talk. And that goes to you, Barb. I really appreciate all your effort on that. And um, if anyone listening knows an employer or someone who would like to be a good uh, guest for the show, please send your suggestions to to me and have them contact me at DeanLogan at RadioStPete.com. I want to thank all of you for listening to Job Talk and for tuning in to RadioStPete.com. You should check out the great music, including local musicians who are featured here. And the website really does keep getting better and better. You can choose your favorite style of music 24 hours a day. You can choose between main, oldies, jazz, and classical. And other interesting interesting programs you might enjoy are live broadcasts like the Suncoast Tiger Bay Luncheon Broadcast, the Homemade Broadcast with Will Coons, and the Indie Circuit with Mo, which airs on Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. If you miss a show, that's okay, because you can find all the previous shows in the audio archive section where you can listen to all your favorites (coughs) at your convenience. 
That's R-A-D-I-O-S-T-P-E-T-E dot com. You can download the free app and listen anywhere you take your phone, tablet, or computer. So check it out. I want to take this time to thank Joe, Chuck, Richard, Harry, my engineers, Dan and Sean, and all the Eagles for their help. And as always, I want to end Job Talk with this final thought and say to anyone in the country, if you're thinking about relocating your family or business and are looking for a great place to live, work, and play, you should come visit and take a look at all St. Pete and Tampa Bay has to offer. I'm glad I did. I think you'll be glad you did too. So thanks for listening, and until next time when we talk about jobs on Job Talk, this is Dean Logan. Take care, everybody. You have been listening to Job Talk with Dean Logan, a presentation of RadioStPete.com and Eagle Datagistics. Eagle Datagistics is one of the premier Oracle Gold partners on the East Coast, providing hardware and software sales, data recovery, DBA services, and recruiting. With more than 10 years in business, Eagle Datagistics in downtown St. Petersburg. Job Talk with Dean Logan came to you live from our studios inside Eagle Datagistics on the 10th floor of the Plaza Tower in downtown St. Petersburg. RadioStPete.com